If you've ever watched John Daly II teeing off on the green, you could swear that he was Long John's second chance at life. Well, thanks to John Daly II, who's nothing like his dad, Long John traded his challenging, youthful life for a much quieter retirement, and things seemed to be taking shape for the duo. While growing up, young Daly's parents constantly faced marital issues before eventually getting a divorce. He missed school for a couple of weeks before his dad eventually took custody of him after a messy legal battle. Ever since Daly Sr. vowed he'd do whatever it took to see his son not just carry on his legacy, but live a life totally different from his. Daly might not be a model father, but he raised a fine boy for a man with his background, and he never misses the opportunity to express his pride in his boy. However, I'll surprise you to know that there's so much more to their father-son relationship than meets the eye. Want to find out more? Stick around as we go deep into the details. Who is John Daly? John Daly is an American pro golfer who has won several major titles, including the St. Andrews Open in 1995. In addition to his winnings on U.S. soil, he has also won accredited professional events in Swaziland, South Africa, South Korea, Scotland, Germany, and Canada. His insane lifestyle and unique personality earned him fans even from outside the golf world. Sure, some call him JD, which are the initials of his name. Others, Wild Thing. For his wild lifestyle, he earned the moniker The Lion, which is a reflection of his life on and off the course, while others call him Big John due to his appearance and status. But his most prominent moniker is Long John, which he got due to his ability to hit long drives. Whichever name you choose to call him, you absolutely wouldn't be wrong because his character, penchant for smoking, drinking, gambling, and, and even his attitude towards shopping for new wives wouldn't make you feel guilty. Daily Sherry Crisis Talking about new wives, Sherry Miller, Daly Jr.'s mom, happens to be the fourth woman on the list of ladies the old bad boy convinced to be his wife. And as usual, or may I say, his usual tradition, divorced her in 2007 after six years of marriage. They don't call him the old bad boy for nothing. On July 23, 2003, Daly and Sherry welcomed John's third child and only son. And that was when Daly Jr.'s travails of growing up in a broken home began. Things wore a new look when Daly showed up at a PGA tournament in Memphis in June 2007 with a face full of scratches and a story about Sherry attacking him with a steak knife. The couple had fought in a restaurant close to a golf course the previous night, and it was at that time he sustained the injury. Sherry, who served jail time the previous year for drug-related investigation, refuted the claim, saying John made up the story and sexually assaulted her. John would later file for divorce that year, and he had to pay the price for his wild lifestyle by losing custody of his boy, John Patrick Daly II, to his ex-wife Sherry. Daly is awarded custody of his son. Within that time, Daly noticed his son had missed 30% of his school year, so he immediately challenged the previous custody award at a Tennessee circuit court by citing his son's lack of needed speech therapy, excessive absences from school, and his visitation problems. Daly promised to take his son on tour and arrange for him to be homeschooled. Sherry Daly, who was 35 at the time, was put behind bars for three days after she was found guilty of contempt of court and interfering with court-ordered visitation privileges. The PGA Tour golfer was subsequently awarded custody of seven-year-old Little John. Daly, along with Anna Kladakis, his soon-to-be wife, homeschooled Little John, and it was anything but easy. He even tweeted, Working hard on tour and homeschooling my kid makes me a really busy man. Hashtag on the road. Little John had a pretty hard time writing and reading, but within a year of living with his dad, he'd picked up pretty fast. John Daly has often said that he gave his son a structure, one which he may not have had if he'd grown up with his mom. But how true is that? Well, maybe the circuit court made the right decision more than a decade ago. Now that little boy didn't just grow up smart and intelligent, he is also interested in his dad's favorite sports. After Daly realized how good of a swing Little John had, he sent him to Bishop's Gates Golf Academy in Florida, where he learned the fundamentals of the sport. And how did that pan out? John Daly expresses fears for his son. Little John participated in the 2021 PNC Championship with his father, where the father-son duo won the event. Little John, along with his two-time major champion father, defeated the golf legend Tiger Woods and his kid, Charlie Axel Woods, and the young golfer was appreciated for his effort. John Daly would later reveal that after their first ever father-son competition, Little John struggled to hit decent shots, and he expressed his worry that his son would one day feel frustrated and say, okay, I'm done with golf. But it seems the apple didn't fall far from the tree, as Little John isn't the type to give up when he encounters a challenge. Instead, they told the 1995 British Open champion, Dad, I need to work on my form. And this excited Daly. Daly would later confirm that he and the golf prodigy will feature in this year's PNC Championship in Orlando this December. 
The competition will be the duo's seventh start at the competition, and they've been successful so far. The Dailies are not just conquering the golf world, they're also splitting checks. John Daly II, who has played just one tournament for the University of Arkansas, has posted a single round under par during that event. Along with his two-time major champ dad, signed a name, image, and likeness deal with Hooters. John Daly Sr. confirmed it on his Twitter page as he expressed excitement about his son beside him in the next generation. Daly has a long history with the restaurant chain, so it's long overdue. John Daly may not be the best golfer or even the world's best dad, but given his lifestyle, he did a pretty good job raising John Patrick Daly II, and it's only a matter of time before little John takes the golf world by storm. So what do you make of John Daly and his son? Is this the last we'll be hearing of the father-son duo? Talking about father and son, you need to click on this video showing on your screen right now. Check out some highlights of Tiger and Charlie Woods playing together. You don't want to miss it.